This story is brought to you by Finance Hub Jamaica. We connect you with the right people. This next storyteller, the last time we saw him, thought-provoking comes to mind, to say the least. Now, this is a gentleman whose father was a drug dealer. His mother was a drug addict. He himself incarcerated for five years. Saying that alone, tell him up stories for days, right? We definitely can't wait to hear from you now. Now, this is a gentleman who also gained a little popularity when it came on to, you know, Drake's Netflix produced Top Boy. Y'all know, you know what I'm talking about. So actor, poet, rapper, let me tell you something. Let's just get right to Scantana. Yo, it's your boy Scantana, the man with the most grammar, master storyteller. Well, it was 2007, I entered the Tasty Talent Trail and Amina Blackwood Meeks, who is a master storyteller, she was one of the judges. And I actually didn't place, but Amina decided that I needed to go to school because my storytelling ability was master. You know, it's, it's funny that you asked that um, because I stumbled upon, long story short, and just upon watching a few of the uh, other episodes and seeing the tellers, I was realizing that it was a space built for creatives as well as non-creatives because everyone has a story. You get what I say? So when you can listen to someone who is not an entertainer tell you an engaging story that's captivating, it's a wonderful space to go and network and meet people and just be inspired by other people's lives. Well, my message to Long Story Short will be the same message that I give to every up and coming uh, person that's trying. It takes 10 years to become an overnight success. So if you quit in your ninth year, you'll never make it. And I see Long Story Short going somewhere. You know, it, it, you, just have to, you just have to keep reinventing the event. You know, there's many ways to tell stories. So if you can tap into these people that, that want to share their stories and keep finding creative ways to assist them to tell, long story short, we'll be here for a long time. I grew up in a home that was, it was, it was, it was reared by a, a drug dealer father and a drug addict mother. So me was like the little savage in between. You know, where me that one night, me should not be an addict. Harm <laughs> me for be a seller. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, no, it real. You might laugh and think it's a joke, but it did real. Long story short, <laughs> Corona. It's been such a bittersweet um, situation. I know that some of us um, has been experiencing this Corona and quarantine thing, and you know, we lose with jobs and you know, we lose family members and things like that, but it has been bittersweet for some of us. Because my story in this corona is, um, I remember when I was 17 years old and I was with this girl by the name of Rashandia Jeffers, amazing young lady. You know, I was, she's just a year younger than me. And um, at the last long story short, I don't know if some of my viewers remember, I told you about getting incarcerated so before I got incarcerated, it was this young lady's house that the officers went to her house with pictures of me to ask her and her parents, did they know me? And believe it or not, her parents wouldn't have recognized me in the, in the photo, but she knew our man. She knew our man. So when she saw the picture, it was like, <gasps> but to take everything in our face, kind of keep that straight face there and then kind of, you know, squint and look at the picture and say, no, I never saw this person before in my life. And what she told me after the fact was that that night she went back to her room and ball out her item, like ball out her item to swell. So she called me and she said, um, Scantana, if you did something, would you tell me about it? And I was like, yeah, but for some reason, they kind of know what she did that call me about. And she said, were you involved with, with a robbery or something like that? And I said, no. She said, well, the police, them come to my um, house with pictures of you. I said, you sure, see me? And she said, yeah, I know you. I said, no, maybe it was my brother or something. Them time my heart to beat fast, me I tell you. Anyway, long story short, me not get locked up. It was me. And me a writer. Me a writer, she not write me back. Me a writer, she not write me back. Me a writer, she not write me back till. Me get frustrated, me end up upstate now, serving time. And me realize, say, 
I lose this girl. Mind you, you know, the love of my life, you know. Boom, me do my five years, me get deported. Do what me I do up and down in Jamaica with this person, with that person. And Corona happens. So me in a Corona now one night, I'm a dead woman. You know, Black Lives Matter just go viral. So, me I get the, me I get the interviews from here, on stage interview, I got the morning time interview, you know, long story short, call me like Scantana, we need you. So I'm like, all right, things is happening for me, I'm feeling good. One night, I go on my bed and I wake up, mind you, you know, I'm searching for this girl from the time me leave to, uh, to present day, because I'm punching her name, Roshandia, but I'm spelling the name wrong. Her name is Roshandia, R-O-S-H-U-N-D-I-A. I'm spelling it Rushandia, R-U-S-H-A-N-D-I-A. So I'm not finding her nowhere on social media. Boom, I kind of write it off. One night, I wake up. Check my phone as usual. I see a message. You know, you get the request. So I mean, I say, I which request this now? Go on my phone. Go on my phone then. Check out my phone, I mean, I say. Hello. I am so proud of you, Mugabe. I just want to tell you that, you know, you make me so proud. Um, I don't know if you remember me. This is Rashandia. I dropped, me nearly dropped the phone. You have me really dropped the phone, but you know, something like that. And it was a shock because I'm like, this is 22 years later. This girl, when me I look for, come find me and just slide in my DM like say. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm bugging. So I'm like, of course I remember you. Text her back excited. Yo, watch this on my number. And she, I go call me Pam Vice Car. You know what I do, right? Hang up. And then call her. Pam Video Car. Y'all might think it's a joke, so. I'm just showing you that. It's real. It's really real. So she called me Pam Vice Car. I'm hang up the car. I'm call her upon video call. Like, I feel see you. I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't listen to your voice alone. And 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 she don't even know that I was really gonna call her for the show. So I'm gonna turn her to the camera right now. This is her. This is her. Say hi to Long Story Short, baby. Say hi to Long Story Short. I just told him that after 22 years, you found me, and we're back together. And she's gonna be sharing my last name, y'all. Let me come a little bit closer to the camera. This is her, everybody. Hello. This is my baby. Rashandia Jeffers, soon to be a Lawrence. I love you, baby, you heard? So we letting them know that Corona wasn't always a bad thing for everybody. It was a little bittersweet. I love you, you heard? Later. So long story short. After 22 years of walking out of this girl's life to go serve time for foolishness as a youth, she walked right back into my life to come claim the love of her life. Thank you, Corona.